What's up, Josh Boyle? And I'm so cool to start acting geek. Welcome to my channel. I know this is late. It's like Friday, and I'm probably gonna upload it Saturday when I get my daughter planned because I've been in a hiatus for the past five days because my daughter situation got situated. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to dive right into episode six of Westworld, season two Westworld. This was a fantastic episode. I just love it when they do the expect ratio thing. It makes it seem so cinematic. It's just aesthetically pleasing, you know. Um let's talk about what Dolores did to Teddy though. I knew she did something bad, but y'all she made him so vicious. Like he's so vicious but his dialogue is so much better. Like this is the last mercy I'll ever give you. I was like Bruh, bruh, that was a dope ass line. Uh, the carnage they leave behind, uh, the lurse and the team is savage. Seems like it's affecting her, the change of Teddy though. But uh, I'm, I was like, hypocrite. <laughs> also, that Japanese story is fucking amazing too. Aesthetically pleasing, also, the production design is fantastic. The show is just groundbreaking. Why did she take Sakura's heart? Was that a Japanese tradition? Like, Japanese culture fascinates me. I should really study it in a sense. Um, the duel was cool. Even the fight sequences are, are going up a notch. Lawrence and the man in black and his daughter took a trip. At first he didn't believe it was her. Then he believed it was her. Then he dished her. Which was savage. Uh, Bernard with that girl who was his assistant or side programmer I don't really know what her job qualification was before she went missing they went on another journey of themselves putting Bernard's mind in the machine to figure out who's controlling the whole situation to find out that it was Robert you know, like this show and you got Maeve Finding a daughter, but daughter, I saw saw it coming that she was assigned a new mother. I can't believe she didn't see it coming. Ah, that Japanese girl who has the tattoo of a dragon joined them on the quest. It was just beautiful. The whole train situation at the end, I'm really excited to see what happens there. Let's talk about that opening aspect ratio scene, not so the Roberts scene. Like I said, it's so cinematic. The opening scene, how Dolores was testing Bernard or oh, uh, like to see if he'll respond like Arnold. I think that's what was happening. And at the end, Anthony is fucking back. I'm excited. I'm sure everybody who watched that episode lost their shit when they saw that happen. Anyway, I'm about to react to the promo for the next episode. Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Give me a second. Here it is. What? Think like you. Bleed like you. Do you really think I let that continue? Did he find out that what is about to happen would not be your fault? No. Just open your eyes. Looks like shit is hitting the wire, y'all. Getting legit real. Yo. Yo. That look good. That look good. This is becoming phenomenally better. Like, so much so. The storytelling is phenomenal. I wonder if they write the narrative like they follow Bernard's narrative and write it, then they intersect all the narrative from Dolores to Charlotte to Maeve. They cut it in between episodes, but they write one narrative for each character. 
can they intersect them? You understand what I'm saying, right? Hey, before I sign out, check out hashtag I'm a creator. It's a community of creators who create on YouTube. Just write hashtag I'm a creator on Twitter, on Facebook, even on Instagram, I think. And you'll find a group of creators. You'll find James Crox, who started the group, who makes live streams, or a bunch of creators can meet each other, communicate, support each other. It's not sub for sub, but most of the time people do support you back when they like your content. So my channel's been growing since, so I thought I should let you guys know. Hashtag I'm a creator. Deuces.